Hey everyone, so seeing as the exams are getting closer and closer, I thought it'd be good to make a video about how best to approach the actual exam period. Number one rule is to get a good night's sleep. Don't stay up cramming. Even if you think there's something you haven't learned, there is nothing that can be gained from staying up all night and tiring yourself out so you can't even think straight in the morning. Just accept that what you know before you go to bed is what you will know and get a good night's sleep so you're nice and fresh. Okay, so number one rule, no cramming all night long. Number two, don't allow people in the stupid exam queue to stress you out because they'll always be there like, have you learned this, have you learned this? And that's not gonna help either. Just ignore them, get into your own calm space and just, just know that you know everything that you need to know and that you can feel confident. And similarly, when you leave the exam, don't let people go, what did you get in this question? Did you put this? Because there is nothing worse than realizing that you've got something wrong or that you disagree with someone post-exam because there's nothing you can do about it. So for your own sanity, try to avoid that. When it actually comes to the exam, make sure you have all the apparatus you need. Nothing worse than being in a maths exam, wasting time putting your hand up, asking for another pen or a pencil. Make sure you have um, at least two pens in case one runs out, a sharp pencil, rubber, ruler, protractor, compass, obviously if that's a maths exam. Same with science. Don't forget your calculator. Don't go screwing up and losing marks because you're having to do mental maths on mole calculations or something because that's just ridiculous. Um, take a deep breath when you turn over the paper. Feel confident. Don't sit there staring around at everyone else. They're just as nervous as you are. Just concentrate. Be in your own space. Make sure you're reading the question properly. It drives me crazy when people lose marks because they haven't read the bit at the top of the question. They've just dived straight into the question. For example, um, I, I read a question which was like, what is an independent variable? And pretty much everyone I taught just wrote the independent variable of the experiment. So they wrote something like it's the light intensity. But actually the, the question was just asking, what is an independent variable? It's the thing you change. And that's what you needed to write in order to be awarded the mark. Um, so to that end, underline keywords or highlight them to make sure you're picking out the right part of the question. Um, make sure you know the difference between describe and explain. That's another one that people quite easily screw up on. Remember, describe means say what you see. So if it's a graph, you need to just say what you can see on the graph, like as something increases, something decreases. Um, and then provide a few figures that, that basically um, back up what you're saying. Explain is saying why the... The graph why the line has happened the way it has um, so you'd have to write an answer like the number of people dying from cancer increases with the number of people smoking because cigarette smoke has carcinogens and leads to mutation has lots of tar nicotine all that sort of thing okay um, don't go don't whatever you do leave any of your um, answers blank because you are never gonna get a mark if you leave a question blank you need to write something, even if it feels like the most stupid thing ever. Don't ever hand in your paper with um, any blank answers because they're immediately going to be awarded zero marks. So that's a big no-no. It's quite tempting when you're answering the paper to just skip out all the questions that you're not sure of. But it is worth giving them a good go because at the time, as you're reading them chronologically, because in science particularly, you'll find that there aren't that many questions, but each question has a lot of different points. But it's all on the same topic so what you have to do is really get your mind into that specific topic area and the problem is if you leave those questions blank and have to go back again then you're going to have to re-enter that question in your mind which will take quite a lot of time and effort if you find that you have time left over at the end obviously go back and check your answers make sure you haven't left any blank pages make sure that all your that the numbers so you haven't missed out like question nine for example turn over to the back of the paper make sure there are no um questions on the back because again people you wouldn't believe how many times that's happened to people but it's it's quite a common occurrence and that would just be so so annoying when it comes to answering the questions l let the number of marks available be your guide so if there's three marks available you need to make three separate points don't just rehash the same point two or three times because you're only going to score a maximum of one mark so that would be frustrating it's a good idea to bulletproof bullet point not bulletproof bullet point your answers to make sure that they're all different um, and yeah, science is the number one subject for making sure that you're being concise with your answers they're not after an essay here obviously don't bulletproof in Torah my goodness don't bullet point in the six mark questions because there's always a mark available for written communication so there you need to write continuous sentences oh I knew there was something else I wanted to tell you but I can't for the life of me remember oh yeah in terms of timing 
don't go with the whole minute and mark thing because sometimes there's just like fill in the blanks and obviously that's not going to take a minute to think pick out one word what you need to do instead is obviously look at how many marks are available so if it's 120 marks available and it's a two hour paper just make sure you're about halfway through the paper 60 minutes in and let that be your guide because you don't want to be rushing at the end but yeah good luck guys um get lots of sleep try not to stress too much because the end is in sight and you'll have the best summer ever ahead of you and yeah see you soon bye